Distinguished guests, the President of the United States, accompanied by Coach Dan Hurley. Please have a seat. Everybody but Blumenthal and Doug. <laughs> I've been trying to get them to stand for me for, for years. <laughs> for years. Well, welcome to the White House, everybody. I really mean it. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. And no, I tell you, it's a, it's a real honor to have you all here. And congratulations to the ninth to 2023 NCAA Men's Best Goal Champion. <laughs> I've been going all through Central America telling and talking about you guys. And you got to step in the parades. <laughs> you know what I mean? Back. You're back in action? <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, we also have the first, the second gentleman here. I, second gentleman. That sounds ridiculous. This guy's a hell of a lawyer, and he gave up his practice so his wife could be Vice President of the United States of America. They <laughs> stay right here Well, I'll tell you what, uh, Dick, you know, you, 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 your boy's done it, man. And uh, I want to thank everybody for being here today. And uh, members of, uh, you know, we have a few people who uh, went to UConn and kind of like it, you know? <laughs> uh, I was telling the president of the university that when I was in school, that's okay. Look, she's allowed to do anything you want. <laughs> Kids rule in my house, okay? <laughs> What's the matter? What's the matter? I don't blame you. I'm bored with me, too. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? How old is she? Two years old. I tell you what, that's a good age. <laughs> Hold her tight. Well, at any rate, look, all kidding aside, when I was, uh, when, when I was in college, I didn't play basketball. I played football, but I didn't. And uh, one of my best friends was a guy named Pete McLaughlin, and he played for Providence College. He used to be competitive with you guys back 100 years ago. And, uh, but uh, we always talked about Connecticut. And we had a couple great basketball players from the University of Connecticut from Delaware who happened to be women basketball All-Americans. Uh, but at uh, any rate, we also have, you know, we got a guy. I, we needed someone to be the head of the Department of Education. And we found this guy, Cardona, you know what I mean? <laughs> Miguel has four different degrees from the your great university. And uh, he's been, a, he, you know, I don't know, but one, but he couldn't make the team. Uh, <laughs> that, that's a real He knows uh, UConn has brought, he's been one of the great fans for years, a Connecticut guy. And look, uh, one of the premier programs in the country you'll have, and that's not hyperbole, it's a fact. 36 NCAA tournaments, six Final Fours, five national titles, 99, 2004, 2011, 2014, and this year. Not bad, guys. Not bad. <laughs> and you started this year, you know, unranked. And then you went 14-0. and 0. And just to keep everybody's interest, you lost the next six, eight games. <laughs> uh, and they count you out. It's not bad. And, but you got a coach who decided that doesn't matter. And hell, he knows something about how to win. 
He, by the way, he's brand new to basketball in the family. You know? <laughs> but uh, you bounce back with a resounding 15-2 run. That ain't bad, man. 15-2 run. <laughs> Started, you know, see, you're a fourth seed, and uh, you won every single game by double digits in the final blowout of the fifth national championship. Congratulations, congratulations. <laughs> Nothing like a comeback, man. I think you all did that deliberately, you know what I mean? To keep people, look, you know, and, and, and did it all as a team, and the whole country could see it. Well, anybody who loves basketball watched it all. When three players fast through Final Four because of, it falls during the holy month of Ramadan, the country sees what it means to commit to something bigger than yourself. And when another star player scores 16 points after being sick all night with food poisoning, He's nuts. I mean, I don't, I don't know how the hell you did that, man. I don't know how you did that. Pretty, you know, he gets a sense of what it means to dig deep and show up for others. And, uh, you know, with Coach Hurley's family in the stands and the sidelines on the court and the country got to see what it means to devote your whole life to a shared passion. And, Coach, you had an unwavering, unyielding belief in this team. And it was clear. And it made a difference. This team is proof that there's no quit in UConn, just like there's no quit in America, none. There's nothing we can't do when we believe we can do it if we do it together, and that's exactly what you all did. You stood up. And that's what sports and this country is all about, possibilities, possibilities. And one more thing. I hosted the LSU women's team earlier today for their championship title. Jordan, I heard you and your cousin, uh, you know, Angel, played one-on-one -on -one growing up. Is that true? You did. <laughs> One's a child of a, a, bro a, a brother, the other a child of a sister. And uh, so I've set up a basketball court in the South Lawn. <laughs> There's a court down there by the tennis courts. And uh, um, Jordan, your uncle, thinks uh, uh, he can take you as well. So uh, <laughs> I just want you to know that we're going to, after this, we're all going down to see that one-on-one -on -one game. <laughs> I tell you what, man, it's in the blood, isn't it? It's in the blood. What, great, what an incredible thing. What an incredible thing. And congratulations to the whole Yukon Nation. It's, you got to make you feel good. How many here are family members have a son or a daughter, a son up here, a mom, dad, brother, sister out there? Raise your hand. Look at look whose hand goes up first. I got to find out what your name is. What's your name? Luke. Do you know anybody up there? My dad. You're kidding me. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Dad, say it in the microphone. Uh, Cash. Cash, I'll tell you what. I want to know who your haberdasher is, man. You're looking <laughs> good. <laughs> anyway, look, this is a family affair. I want to wish you, thank you all for being here. And, uh, you know, there's nothing like, think about Every, and whenever the nation's been down, what's always brought us back? Sport. Sport. And uh, thank God we're not down yet, but uh, you guys are something else. And I wish you all the best of luck in the, in the whole world. How, how, how many of you graduate this year or leave this year? Well, we got, we got room on the team down here, too, you know what I mean? <laughs> so thank you so very, very much. Madam President, thank you. Uh, I started to ask the president about the team, and she started to tell me it was a great team, but then she started to tell me all the other significant things that happened at UConn, okay? <laughs> and uh, so I just want you to know, and I want to just wish you all the best of luck, and God bless you all, and I'm going to turn this over to Coach Hurley. Coach? Jersey girl. <laughs> it's worked out pretty good for both of us. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> yes, we did. Yes, we did. I always would uh, really dread uh, speaking uh, after Gino Ariema, 
this is a whole nother level. Of, <laughs> whole nother level of fear right here coming up here. So I'm going to stick to my script. <laughs> um, yes, so, Mr. President, you know, you, you, you grew up in sports, and obviously, you know, you, you know the sacrifice and commitment, you know, it, it takes to achieve anything great. But, you know, you grow up, you, you're working and competing, you know, dreaming of achieving something like really enormous, something really big in team sports, and it's like uh, first thing that comes to your mind, right, when you do something big and win that incredible championship is like, you know, we get to go to the White House and, and, uh, and meet the President of the United States. It's such an honor to meet you, uh, President Biden. So uh, thank you for having us here. Uh, and it's an honor that you, you truly got to earn, you know, to, to, you know to, to earn one of the greatest honors in sports. You, you've, you know, you, you've got to work and obviously um, you, you never forget it, you know, but you earn it through having tremendous, uh, you know, culture and brotherhood you know, which we work to every day to develop as, as a program. Obviously, this team's, you know, their abilities on the court, uh, you know, were, were unmatched in terms of uh, anyone in the country. This was, you know, truly the elite team, uh, you know, the elite team in college basketball. And, and we had the greatest leadership um, in terms of what we got from our older players and Andre Jackson and Adama Sonogo. We, we had a really miserable, yeah. Right? You know, like politics and sports, two tough businesses to get into, right? Uh, January was a rough month, and the, the leadership of those two men, you know, really got us through a really difficult time. And, um, you know, this becomes, you know, one of the greatest teams uh, in UConn's storied basketball history, this team right here. Um, so I couldn't be prouder. Uh, Mr. President, uh, you know, Dr. Biden, Vice President Harris, uh, Second Gentleman Emoff, um, and the White House staff who have been unbelievable today. It is crazy, too, by the way, right? These cameras and all the, you know, the people playing the music. <laughs> and, and ton of, you know, you know what was crazy? I got to say this, too. Um, the police escorts, we could get used to that, <laughs> right? And particularly when you're in Houston, man, those cops... The police there in Houston, man, they were, they were a well-oiled machine. We were getting places fast. Um, but on behalf of U uh, University of Connecticut, um, the great state of Connecticut, and then all of, of Husky Nation, just want to thank you uh, and your administration you know, for providing for us like what would be a, a day and memories we will never forget. Um, and then as a token of our appreciation over there, we're going to have our captains, Adama Sonogo, uh, and Andre Jackson Jr. present you with that UConn jersey. You don't want him posting you up. Uh, that's a big boy. Distinguished guests, please remain in the East Room as the President departs. Thank you.